Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey, everybody. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. What do you have there, Sam? Looks like books. Yeah, I uh, guess you could call them books. It's just something I've been meaning to read. Oh, why don't you open one up? So we can all see the little gingerbread house pop out. <laughs> The whole thing started so innocently. I, mean, I began dating her because she was cute and because we hit it off. I mean, I had no idea that I was going to get better marks because of it. I just was after some meaningless sex and it's turned into something sleazy. Well, you know the old saying, the best laid plans of mice and scum. I guess that just leaves you and me, huh? Oh, dear, Sam, uh, this is a problem. Fraser and I have tickets for a piece of experimental theater tonight. I feel obligated to go because the last act takes place in Fraser's living room. <laughs> oh, boy. Holy cow, what happened here? Warmer up in the mountains and we were au naturel. <laughs> hey, coach, did you uh, check the furnace? No, it's not the furnace, Sam. It's that damn vent. I called the repairman, my old buddy of mine, he's on his way over. Oh, God. Well, damn it looks like it's up to you and me to generate a little heat for these folks, huh? <laughs> Don't bother, we'll just huddle around a three-watt light bulb. <laughs> Feisty little barmaid. I took her in off the streets. She's crude, but devoted. <laughs> but, you know, I had a terrific time. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. He was the best ski trip I ever had. Yeah, me too. Did you find any time for skiing? No, darn it. You know, somebody stole our skis. We had to spend the whole weekend in the lodge. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, but when we were leaving this morning, they turned up in the rack on the roof of Sam's car. <laughs> Yeah, some kids must have stolen them for a joy ski. <laughs> Disrespectful punks. Yeah. Well, I gotta get going. I have to be at BU in half an hour. Okay, BU? It, that's uh, Boston University, isn't it, family? Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah, where all the smart types hang out, huh? What are you studying there? Oh, I'm not studying anything. I'm gonna be part of a fraternity stunt. <laughs> yeah, she's... Uh, She's tutoring some of the boys. <laughs> well, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, Sam. Yeah, you take care. Oh, boy, look at that. Well, I guess I better take a look at this air duct here, huh? You know, sometimes the problems right over here. Bambi. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Oh, I suppose it's better than Dumbo or Goofy. <laughs> I can't help but noticing that Bambi wasn't the same little deer that you left here with on Friday. Oh, no, I got rid of Cindy. Mm. Uh, we weren't compatible. Really? What was the problem there? He's dumb as a post. Oh. With so much in common, I can't imagine why you two went awry. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I mean, she just wasn't my intellectual equal. You should have told me you were looking for your intellectual equal. I could introduce you to something that's growing on my shower curtain. Uh, Danny, Sam, just talked to a man in Greenbank, West Virginia. He's got a granddaughter named Jacqueline Bissett, 26 years old and unmarried. Oh, I screw Let me talk to her. Yeah, I already did. Jackie will be here tomorrow morning. Hey, hey, hey. How'd you do it? Yeah. Huh? A little ingenuity, you know. I, uh... I told her she won a trip to Boston there on a radio game show. Yeah, so uh, once she gets here, all you have to do is convince her to marry you. I could kiss you, man. Oh. Well, yeah, you can, but I uh, warn you, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I offered her a few, <laughs> few prizes, too, Sam. You know, and induce her to come up. Well, yeah, that's right. Uh, like what? Well, uh, free round trip airfare, first class, suite at the Ritz, uh, free historical tour to match a set of luggage. You know. Why didn't you just offer a car, Cliff? Well, I did, but she took the cash instead. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Sammy. <laughs> the point is, she'll be here. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. My problems are over. You. Um, aren't you forgetting one important step? What? You still have to get her to marry you. Well, it's no problem. As soon as I get her face to face, she'll fall under the old Sammy spell. Oh, you kill it. Sam, uh, 
Your vanity knows no bounds. All the same, I guess I ought to wear something kind of nice, my best outfit. Uh, say, Diane, when uh, you dream of me, what am I wearing? An ant hill. <laughs> See, I always land on my feet. Huh? Well, or sometimes on somebody else's. Have you thought about what you've done to that poor girl? Which one? <laughs> Jackie. Oh, Jack. Oh, that's right. She still thinks we're getting married, doesn't she? Mm. Well, she didn't want to do it in the first place. That's all right. Sam. Did you see the look on her face? She's a simple girl from a rural environment who finds herself in the big city being entertained by a slightly attractive semi-celebrity. How could her head not be turned? Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, you, you think I laid on the old charm too thick, huh? Yes, but she's a farm bee. Better students than others, but you have street smart, savvy, common, common sense. sense. That's right. Just because you may not be able to remember that Pierre is the capital of North Dakota doesn't mean that you should feel at all. Wait a minute. Say that again? What? The capital of North Dakota? Pierre? No, it isn't. It's Bismarck. Oh, Pierre, South Dakota. Well, what difference does it make? The point is that you have earned your. Pierre? I can't believe this. North Dakota, Pierre? Hey, hey, listen to this for a second. Go on, tell him. I was just making an illustration. Coach, coach, what's the capital of North Dakota? Easy, Bismarck. She thinks it's Pierre. All right. I may have inadvertently switched the two. Oregon. Give me the capital of Oregon. Portland. No, it isn't. It's Eugene. Oh, I, I knew that. I knew that. It just slipped my mind for a second. No, it isn't Eugene. It's Salem. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you believe this? Ignorance is bliss. This is Eden.